Morning, CFI, and welcome to the August edition of the CFI Insider. Today, I have Will Church joining me, Ghost Rider. Thanks for having me. Missouri State Truck Driving Championships and the National Truck Driving Championships coming up here in August that Will will be competing in. My name is Patrick Meilinger. I'm one of the senior ops managers. I help support the outside terminals. I also help uh, I talk to the orientation class each week for ways if they're having issues out on the road to let us know so we can help support the drivers. And my main role here is just to help support drivers in any, any facet that they may need help in. So welcome, Will. Uh, do you have a safety message you'd like to share with us? With the influx of new drivers coming into the industry, I would say to keep your eyes moving at all times. And we just recently had an incident where a driver drove his tire off the road and then tried to overcorrect. And because we always keep our eyes moving, we were able to maneuver, realize, and see that before it happened. And the driver actually pushed and overcorrected and almost ran us off the roadway. But because we keep our eyes moving, we were able to maneuver that. Yeah, what a, what a great message. Always always be aware of your surroundings and, and keep your eyes moving so you know what's going on around you. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? What what got you into the trucking industry? How long have you been with CFI? Why did you choose CFI? Starting out um, to drive, I mean, I, I had so many, so many dead end jobs at home. I wanted to try something new and, and my grandfather and my uncle and, I've got a lot of drivers in my family. You know, I had five, I was up in my grandpa's lap and his big long nose Peter built. So it was like kind of a, hey, let me try this. Let me see if this is a good career step for me. So I started out, what was it, 2006? I started out trying it and I got my license. Back then you had to go to one of the starter companies to get that. That one didn't really pan out well for me. So, you know, I was looking around and I saw that, you know, CFI was a reputable company. And so I decided, let's try this out. I came right over and I've been here ever since. It's just a great company and uh, I enjoy being here. I mean, they really do take care of their drivers. They do acknowledge our loyalty and their loyalties matched as well with ours. So I just decided to stay. It's been a great home. So and so, how long have you been with us now currently? This month, this August will be uh, 16 years. Wow. So let's talk a little bit about Missouri State Trucking Championships, truck driving championships that we had in uh, June. (laughs) Will loves cameras. How are you going to, what class are you in? Sleeper. Sleeper. How are you going to do this year? We're gonna see when I do it, I guess. Gonna see when you do it. Yeah. You gonna head to nationals this year? Uh, you gonna hit like first? To. I need that. I got that open slot for that first place trip. We got the second and third. Just need that first one. <laughs> <laughs> What got you into uh, competing? Um, what was your your mindset going into it? Um, how do you prepare for it? This um, would be my, I believe, seventh time um, competing. So I've always been competitive in nature. So when I found out that CFI did this back in the day, I was like, you know what? This sounds like something I'd want to do. So I tried it out. I didn't do well the first time, but obviously that's when you just learn um, what it's about, what you're experiencing. The competition of it is just one aspect. The, the camaraderie between drivers, like it's just an all around you get to meet new drivers from different companies you get to hone your skills each time like there's a lot of testing involved in it um so and and knowledge of the trucking industry so you have to really study the the history and trucking and and first aid and all the stuff that you would need to know out here on the road so it's a lot of studying and practicing and then you've got your driving aspect and your pre-tripping aspect as well so you cover all aspects of the the driving industry while doing it so it's actually good to keep you on your toes with with the day-to-day job too so now with the studying portion i know um, in conversations we've had in the past you drive team with with erica and, mm-hmm. and i know she she's helped you a lot with that with the book being out and asking you a bunch of questions and oh, i'm sure yes. that's that's yeah, huge absolutely help. that's when i really started getting into um because each year i gradually got a little better and a little better and i was always striving you know i, got, I finally got that second place trophy mm-hmm. i kind of jumped the second first and then i got the third so it was kind of like a step back And then it was like, I just need that one first place trophy. So I just kept trying. You know, we studied hard every year. But once she started really helping me get into the book aspect of Mm -hmm. it and learning and stuff, that's when I really started to get better at it. So I give her a lot of credit for that. After you finished competing, um, did you did you feel like you you did well and you had a chance to win? Go, Will. Good. So how do you think you did on the course? I think I did okay, average. Um, Not as good as I wanted to, but you know, I I think I did enough. We'll see if it pays off tonight. What uh, what obstacle gave you the most difficulty? 
uh, the backing was pretty tough because as a sleeper, we drive the biggest truck. We have the least amount of room. So, you know, it's it's pretty tough to, to get that positioning right off the start. Written is always kind of a question you're really not sure because they tend to switch the, the wording around on a lot of the questions every year. So it's kind of tough. You have to really read into the questions because they like to flip it around to kind of confuse you. It's never easy. The pre-trip, I think I did fairly well on that. Um, I, I thoroughly went, uh, went around the outside of the truck. Um, I used my time more for the outside and from what I could see and from what I've heard from other drivers after the fact, they didn't have a lot of stuff on the inside. So it was a good thing that I spent most of my time outside and I found quite a bit out there. So I think I did okay on that. So we'll see, like I said, we'll know tonight if it paid off or not. So hopefully. From what I was told, uh, a lot of the guys, they like to keep score while you're there and stuff. So I, when I got done with my driving and everything, I got back and they're like, you're tied three ways for first on the obstacle course. Well, the obstacle course is just one aspect of mm -hmm. it. If you know you're doing that well in that section, because that's where you really make your points, then it's just a matter of how well do you think you did on the rid? How did I do on the pre-trip? Which I felt like I did pretty good. I thoroughly went through and I checked everything on the truck and I'm like using my hand to kind of scan all the way around the vehicle and check everything. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, but yeah, it's, uh, I thought I did pretty good. So I was like, I had a shot. It was nerve wracking when we got to the banquet and sure. I heard third and then the second place called and I, I wasn't called. So it was really nerve wracking coming up to that first place. It was like, did I do something to mess it up? Right. And then when I heard my name, it was like, oh, just a sigh of relief. Like I finally got one. With winning first place in, in the state competition, you qualify to compete against the, the state winners from all 50 states in the national competition, which is coming up in the second week of August. Are you doing anything different to uh, prepare for that? While we were at state, um, a couple people that had been there have told me that it's going to be a little more difficult, which I expect that, you know, you're going up against the first, the best of every state. For me, more or less, it's just the, the experience. I want to experience it once, but this isn't the only time I expect to be there. So like I continue, I want to continue to, to win. I need to experience what it is, what it's about, the thoroughness of it, like seeing that it takes four days to do it instead right. of two days this time. So it's a little more drawn out process, bigger stakes and stuff and going up against the best of the best. So it's like, it's a little bit intimidating, but I'm not going to let that get to me. The way I look at it is just kind of breathe, sure. study what you know, do what you do. And then when I, when I get to this, when I get to experience it, as long as I get that experience and I know what to look forward to, then I know how to really attack it and go at it and try to compete at a higher level. What advice would you give to um, a driver who's looking to get into competing, um, wants to compete at the state level next year? Stay safe. That's one thing that requires. Um, definitely be safe along the way. If you want to do it, try it because there's no harm in it. And it, like I said, it definitely hones your skills. It keeps you on point. Um, it's a lot of fun. If you like competition, you have to come in, you have to represent the company well, you represent yourself as well. Just enjoy it, have fun and try it out. You can't go wrong just trying it. So what does it hurt? I have a couple housekeeping topics to cover here. Fuel and route, uh, we have a 70% compliance uh, goal. So just make sure that you're following those fuel and route recommendations. Paperwork, we're, we're seeing an uptick in, in missing paperwork after delivery PODs, uh, proof of deliveries. You should have the uh, TransFlow app on your tablets. Uh, you can also download it on your phone. Uh, if you have any questions on how to get access to that, feel free to reach out to your fleet manager. Please try to scan those within 24 to 48 hours so that paperwork doesn't get lost or missing. We've also got the CSVA brake check will be August 20th through 26th. Focus on that will be brake linings and brake pad violations. We're also actively seeking driver finishers. So if you wanna help train the next generation to do things and how to be safe and how to take care of their equipment, please reach out to the training department. You can also let uh, your fleet manager or the driver advocates know, and we'll get your name on the list for the next class. And then I just wanna thank you, Will, again for joining me. And I uh, hope everyone has a safe week.